talking creed in this beach. What's going on people, it's your boy Brass Tax in this bitch, you already know. Existing subscribers love you, new subscribers, welcome, you fucked up. You done stumbled in, bumped your head, and landed on the wrong channel. There ain't gonna be nothing PC about this bitch, we're gonna keep it real with you. This review gonna be broken down into three parts. Part one, I'm gonna talk about the movie, give you my thoughts, spoiler free. Tell you whether I think it's worth picking up, worth not, what have you. Part two, I'm gonna talk about the transfer. What I think about it. This is going to be the most comprehensive transfer you ever done seen on YouTube. I'm going to talk about, I'm going to go balls deep in this bitch. Right, I'm going to talk about a HDR. Colour reproduction, depth, detail, resolution, black levels. Name it, I'm going to talk about it. And part three, I'm going to give you my final thoughts in this bitch. Tell you whether I think overall it's a great package to pick up and what have you. Do not, under any circumstances, subscribe to this channel. I'm trying my reverse psychology, trying to see how that shit works out. Let's see. I love the Rocky movies. I like the first one. I love the second one. Rocky got done, got his ass whooped. You know, if it was a real fight, they would have stopped the fight, God damn it. Rocky got his ass whooped. Yeah, but he came through in the end. It's all good, it's a metaphor for life. Rocky three was okay. I like the fight. I like aspects of Rocky three. Rocky four was also okay, it's a bit, yeah, okay. Rocky V was shit. Rocky Balboa brought it back up. Now we got Creed. Basically, story about Apollo Creed's son. Nothing really new here in the sense that it's a story that's been told before numerous times. Same old story, context is different. It's really about Adonis Johnson. Really Adonis Creed. He's got issues with his dad because dad was never around. Obviously his dad passed away. You know, he's like a bit of a troublesome kid, but the boy can box. Yeah, the boy can really box. This is really about his journey of him accepting who he is, embracing the pain, embracing the love, and just going out there and doing his thing. Rocky, Sylvester Stallone, helps him along the way. An aging Rocky, a Rocky who's kind of got health issues and whatnot. And what happens is the two of them get together and they learn a lot about each other and about themselves. And it helps Adonis become the man that he's supposed to be. Almost a coming of age type situation. In a lot of ways, it's, it's mimicking Rocky. You got a champion, David Bellew. He's awesome, by the way. I'm a big fan of his. Yeah, he's got a match coming up with David Hay, and I don't like his chances, but God damn, he is smoking David Hay in the interviews. Dude can talk, side point. They made it kind of realistic. They really did in, in the build up to the actual fight. Relatively challenging and unknown, but the reason Bellu is the champion and is challenging Adonis is purely because his legacy. He is Apollo Creed's son, so shit hits the fan, so to speak. The fight at the end is good. It's not Rocky good, but it's good. And generally, it's a decent movie. You know, it's got the mind of the Rocky movies. It's got the format of the Rocky movies. And it's got Rocky in that bitch. But it, it kind of lacks a little bit of the heart of the Rocky movies. It does a little bit. Although there was heart in it, it didn't feel... It felt like something was missing. And it wasn't Rocky. It just felt like something was missing. That's not to say it wasn't a good movie. It was a very enjoyable movie. Michael B. Jordan does great as Apollo Creed's son. He's a great actor, actually. He's gonna go a long, a long, long way. Chances are, if you're a Rocky fan, you've probably already seen it. It's a good one to add to your collection, but it's not quite Rocky. Creed shot in 2.8K. Digital intermediate, 2K. Upscaled to 4K. DTS, Master Audio 7.1. The transfer is an uptick from the 1080p. It is. There's subtle differences, subtle improvements. Flesh tones are more pronounced. There is a little bit more depth of feel. There is a, a nice level of depth. There is a wider color space, but it's not immediately noticeable. Black levels are very good though throughout. There's a lot of detail, there's zero crush in this. It's definitely a warmer picture than its 1080p counterpart. And you know, there's no CGI in this, so you don't have to worry about that. But in outdoor scenes, primarily when Creed is running, 
doing the whole Rocky thing. The 4K is a little bit more prominent in those scenes specifically, where you see details in the buildings he's walking past. When he's walking down the road, you see the brickwork. The lighting in the movie, the HDR, does show itself, and it's subtle, you know? I would say, until recently, 4K Blu-rays are all about subtlety. Ultra HD is all about subtlety, and this movie is a prime example of that. C could someone walk in the room and notice the difference? Not for 90% of this movie, right? Everything I've talked about right now is for 90% of the movie. It is an uptick. Everything, sharper, depth, color, everything is improved, but it's an uptick. That's what I'm saying. Now let's talk about where 4K is more noticeable. The actual match, the boxing match at the end, the finale, fucking fantastic in 4K. God damn. There is a noticeable, it's like, okay, we get into the fight. It's like the Blu-ray disc is spinning in your 4K player and he's like, right, okay, shit. People watching us don't look that impressed. So we need to turn it up in this bitch. And boy, do they turn it up at the end. The difference in, in terms of the HDR, the depth of field, the sharpness, the detail, the black levels, everything is ramped up in the last fight. And it's very, very noticeable. If someone said they shot the last fight with different cameras, that would make sense too, because the detail and the depth of field is more prominent. All in all, as a 4K Blu-ray, it's a subtle improvement. Although Creed is a subtle upgrade, I'm gonna tell you who does not look subtle. And that is Tessa Thompson. God damn, girl, you A1. Girl, you look beautiful in this bitch. Girl, like I said, this is subtle, but your beauty is very noticeable, baby. If you happen to be watching this, inbox me, baby. Nasty. So guys, yeah, it's another Rocky movie. It's similar beats. It's a decent movie. I don't think it holds up against the other Rocky movies, but it's not shit either. I don't think you care as much about Adonis Creed as you do about Rocky. That's not to take away from the fact that it's a decent movie. It's definitely worth watching and it's definitely worth picking up if it's on a discount because like I said, this is the best version of the movie you're gonna get. And that's pretty much it, guys. Hit the like if you like the video. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And there's more of these to come. I'm gonna catch you soon.